Hello, this is Amjad al Mandilawi from Baghdad, Iraq, presenting a series of PCI cases for bifurcational lesion. And at this presentation, we'll show a case of DK crush technique. The case is a 41 year old man presented with recent onset chest pain for one week. He's a smoker, not diabetic, and not hypertensive. ECG shows shallow T inversion in leads V1 to V6. Echocardiography was normal and troponin was positive. The patient was admitted and the angiography done the next day. This is a epicodial view of the left coronary system. Shows a large left circumflex without significant stenosis. There is a lesion in the LED that need to be clarified. This is a cranial view with RIO angulation. There is a rather intermediate lesion in the proximal LED and the subtotal occlusion of the diagonal. So multiple views are needed to clarify the LED and its branches. This is LIO cranial view. It shows the diagonal to be a long artery but with a small caliber. This is the spider view. The first diagonal has a critical lesion and the LED lesion is still not clarified. So there are two things need to be clarified. The first is the diagonal a significant branch and the second to assess the significance of the LED lesion. Nitroglycerin is very important in coronary intervention. Sometimes it reveals the real size of the vessel. It's clear here that the diagonal is a significant branch when compared to its size before giving nitroglycerin. So the first question about the size of the diagonal was answered and it appears to be very large and significant branch. For the LED, we needed to do the FFR and it was 0.71 and this was significant. Now we have a true bifurcational lesion that need to be dealt with. The question is going to be what technique should be provisional or two stent technique. Whenever we face a bifurcational lesion, we need to answer few questions apart from Medina classification. First, ab about the side branch, whether it need to be preserved or not. If not, then we treat the main branch. If the size of branch need to be, to be preserved, then we ask about the likelihood of the occlusion of the side of branch. If there is no likelihood of occlusion, then we go for provisional stenting of the main branch, and if anything needed, then we can go for stenting of the side of branch. If from the beginning there is a high likelihood of occlusion of the side of branch, then we go from the beginning for two stent technique. And now we ask two, another question about the angulation of the side of branch. If the angle is wide between 70 and 90, then a T and tap technique can be used. If the angle is small less than 70, <coughs> a crush and culotte technique can be used. In our case, both vessels are significant and the angle is small. So we need to do from the beginning two stent technique and we choose to do DK crush. There are many steps for the DK crush technique. You don't have to memorize them all. A common sense will lead you from one step to the other and we shall go through these steps in this case. The first step is to wire both the branches. In this case, we, need, we needed to predilate the diagonal since it was subtotal. Then, in this case, we needed to stand the distal part of the LID. And it's important that the overlap should not be at the bifurcation lesion. The second step will be to stand the side branch and putting a balloon in the main branch. We can put the balloon distal to the main branch. Deploying the side branch stent. 
and then do angiogram to make sure that there is no distal dissection at the side branch stent. After that, remove the side branch wire and its balloon, crush the side branch stent by the main branch balloon. Here you may need an NC balloon. Rewire the side branch and do the first kiss. Remove the side branch wire and deploy the main branch stent. Here it's preferable to do the first part before rewiring. Then rewire the side branch and do the second kiss. Now we come to the final part. Positioning of the balloon for the final part is very important. It's an important step. The final part helps restore the round shape of the main branch. And by using an NC balloon with high pressure, it prevents malapposition. Localization is important. It should be just at the bifurcation and avoid the carina to prevent its distortion. The final part was done by an NC balloon 3.5. Another important thing to remember is that during preparation for the case, you must know what balloon available in your cath lab, so that the length of the stent proximal to the bifurcation should accommodate the available balloon used for the final part. This is to avoid inflation of the balloon in the raw area. And this is the final result in two views. The messages from this case, first it's important to study a bifurcational lesion properly and to, prevent, to prepare all equipment necessary to achieve the goal. Nitroglycerine is important to assess the proper size of the vessel. Physio physiological assessment ca can identify the significance of intermediate lesion. In DK crush technique, multiple steps are needed, and with some common sense, mishaps can be avoided. And thank you.